appreciated being in this uh, 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 conference or workshop. I, I learned a lot. What was important for me was how to use the how to use the data that we get from a, a various administrative uh, sources to further inform and further develop and further make better policies that impact on the poorest of the poor. Uh, in South Africa, we have a relatively extensive social protection system uh, that includes a, a, a free um, a basic uh, water, free basic electricity, um, is no fees uh, schooling for the poorest uh, two co three quintiles and, and, and including a social assistance for the most vulnerable in our society. Now the issue for us was to how to get the people who should be receiving this uh, very extensive uh, uh, social wage within uh, 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 the system and using administrative data to track the people who should be getting but are ex excluded. And this uh, um, forum assisted uh, us a lot. Some countries are um, much further than further than others, uh, but we will all get there through this learning and sharing uh, platforms that we have established. I think in this era that we're living in, um, the use of evidence to inform policies is absolute. I don't think we can move forward continuing to develop policies um, without good evidence. And so to that extent, um, we must ensure that the data that is available is relevant and can serve to inform um, policy, new policies as well as to maintain the existing policies and if necessary to end um, policies that are non-productive or perhaps are not serving the intended um, populations they're meant to serve. Quite honestly, there have been quite a bit of um, efforts, but um, I think what is missing is critical mass and, and maybe leadership to ensure that um, the issue of evaluation capacities is institutionalized so that in fact we can benefit from, from the larger economies of scale and to ensure that we can commission evaluations in a timely manner and benefit from the evidence that are generated from evaluation. So in a nutshell, um, the issue is that efforts are very nascent, institutions require quite a bit of strengthening, and I think we are in the right direction. We are moving in the right direction. Uh, we have been able to benefit from South-South cooperation, and so countries like uh, Mexico, Brazil, Colombia, um, Jamaica, We've been able to, to gain a lot of experience and to learn from their challenges and to see where the opportunities are and to fit those within our own context. Um, I think evaluation has to be positioned within the public policy process and the decision-making process. And so understanding within the Brazilian context the excellent organization of social protection, social policies, and then to examine some of the programs that are in place, and then to then look at what are the relevant tools that can help us to, to advance. And I think evaluation as a function and as a tool is really where the last three days has been. And to really make use of, the, of um, all available sources of data, you know, because um, administrative data, survey data, doesn't matter. At the end of the day, as, as um, policy actors, we do require good evidence um, to make better decisions. And so wherever we can source the data to inform those decisions, I think that is where we need to look. So the last three days has been very instructive. And in Belize, because we are very early in our discussions, we, we, we have been able to learn a lot and to be able to take back um, the good work that is being done in this region and to see how we can um, implement some of the linkages between administrative and, and survey data to better inform um, policies that are underway. Um, first of all, I would like to thank the organizers for inviting us, for inviting us other countries to share their experience. I have to congratulate the Brazilian uh, colleagues that presented uh, presented different um, uh, aspects of the of the Brazilian system. Uh, for me, it was uh, quite an interesting uh, experience, and I will um, I will take parts of it and uh, then deliver them to the institution, Romanian institution that are dealing with. 
those problems. And you know, the exchange of, of uh, information was uh, exceptional. And now well, we are exchanging information with the colleagues from other, other countries participants. In the ministry, there is this department of uh, uh, public policies that, that that is dealing with uh, evaluation. Uh, that is dealing with the evaluation, and uh, people from each dep department, experts from each department, department are helping them. Uh, for instance, they have a, a semestrial or termly uh, um, um, report that should be sent to the to the um, uh, to the government regarding uh, the stage of the implementation of different uh, strategies or different directives. My department is dealing with the implementation of the directives. As a matter of fact, every month, at the end of every month, we are preparing a report requested by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs regarding the um, implementation of the European directives. Um, that report goes to the governmental meeting and uh, minister, ministers uh, uh, see it there. And uh, my colleagues from the Department of uh, Public Policies are also um, dealing with um, uh, other departments and each department is reporting uh, about the strategies or about the action plans that are, they are dealing with. Well, data is very critical to promoting um, evaluation because data, it's, once the data is reliable, once the quality is good quality, then it can be used to track the progress of a particular program that you may be involved in. So it's, it's very critical to the evaluation process. Well, there are two main agencies responsible for national evaluation. The Planning Institute of Jamaica is one, and that is set out in law. And then you have the Cabinet Office, which is located in the office of the Prime Minister in Jamaica. Well, it has made me realize how critical national evaluation policies are, and it has made me um, more, more aware and it has also encouraged me to go back to get more information and to encourage persons to e expand national evaluation policies in Jamaica. Le cas de la Tunisie en matière d'évaluation des politiques publiques ou bien des politiques sociales particulièrement euh, nous amorçons une nouvelle période où l'évaluation je pense va prendre de plus en plus de, euh, de présence et de visibilité. Nous sortons, vous, comme vous, peut-être, euh, comme tout le monde le sait, la Tunisie sort d'une, euh, est en train d'achever sa transition démocratique et politique. Et avant la révolution tunisienne de 2011, ce n'était pas possible de développer des stratégies, des programmes d'évaluation, et surtout évaluation indépendante. Aujourd'hui, euh, cela est permis et nous sommes en train de développer quelques initiatives d'évaluation assez intéressantes que j'espère ça va déboucher euh, avec le concours des pouvoirs publics et des ONG et, et des réseaux d'associations spécialisés en la matière, ça va déboucher peut-être en plan national cadre en matière d'évaluation des politiques sociales et des politiques publiques de développement. Je pense que ce genre d'initiatives ne peuvent avoir de réussite si, que, sauf si on développe des réseaux, des réseaux euh, d'ONG d'initiatives publiques, nationales, internationales, associatives, etc. Et tout est dans le partage de l'information, tout est dans l'échange, et surtout, le mot d'ordre le plus important, c'est le renforcement des capacités nationales des pays à euh, effectuer des évaluations les, les plus pertinentes possibles. Merci. Oui, um came here with uh, our own uh, research on um, administrative systems. We've been working for some time now uh, through our data forums in our department uh, with departments to improve the administrative data quality. Um, in this seminar uh, there was a lot of emphasis on the use of registers in the case of South Africa, uh, we have registers with very rich information, but they're typically uh, not highly accessible. Uh, the quality uh, in our registers vary. Uh, the the um, registers uh, that have financial implications are typically better, 
and uh, an example of that is our social pensions uh, register, the, the register we keep for social grants. Um, this, uh, so going forward we will uh, have to look at, at uh, accessibility of these registers uh, and to, to look at uh, the integration with other uh, registers. We believe that we will be able to improve evaluation um, through uh, looking at uh, this combined uh, data sets um, that, uh, and also through the registers we will be able to even improve data in other registers that may be less mature. Um, yeah, so for us access is a problem, also the quality of data, uh, there are sometimes missing fields, the fact that registers are typically not created uh, with the purpose of evaluation. Uh, is, is uh, maybe a, a type of an impediment on, on the use for evaluations that may have very specific questions to address. Um, then also um, certain fields, um, we at least we have a, a, our key for identification um, is, is simple in South Africa as compared to the Brazil and other countries experience. Uh, we uh, um, should be able to do this work and to intensify the work that has already been done in this field.